Hi guys, Battlegroup Gamer here, coming at you with another broadside of naval action, and today we're playing Cold Waters. We're still continuing our North Atlantic 1968 campaign, and in this episode, we have been tasked with the task <laughs> of uh, intercepting a resupply group um, somewhere in the Soviet coast. Oh, we have run into something going full speed. On rig ship for ultra quiet. Looks to be kind of deep, kind of noisy. Bearing 140 directly for us. Come left to zero. Six, eight, helm, I. Let's find out what we've got. Con, sonar, new contact bearing. One, four, one, designated Sierra, one. Start with the subs. Probably a sub. It appears to be a November. I'm sorry, how could you be that close? Oh yeah, because I was doing 20 knots. And then we're just gonna go ahead and point our nose Con, right helm, back helm, at him. Right One, three, nine, helm, I... Use the hull of our ship to mask our propellers. We'll watch these numbers go down slightly. Much better. Con helm, steady course. So now we're getting to within a pretty good audio range. They're not going to hear us just yet. Come right to one seven. Oh, let's get up to. 150 feet. Make depth 150 feet, die by. Actually, no. Stop doing that. We don't have time Helm for this. Two, zero, four, nine. Helm I. And he is 5,000 yards away. Con, helm, steady course. Not seeing him, though. Oh, there he is. Make turns for one, zero, knots. Maneuvering eye. That way we can speed away from him a little faster. Disengage at Sierra one last bearing one fifteen thousand yards. Nine. Contact faded. Come left to zero two four helm I. Wait a second. Yes, that is getting closer. Make depth two zero zero feet die by. We'll just stay hanging out under the uh under the layer. Passing two hundred feet. That's good. All right, can we get... Yes, we can. It was a total of three Novembers. That would have taken forever to get through, especially with as noisy as the water was. Yes, I know, it's not my mission target. There's our quarry. We'll just kind of hang out. Uh, I'm going too fast again. 
This one may end up, uh, oh yeah. Fortunately, we'll be under the layer, I think. On spring ship for ultra quiet. Make depth two zero zero feet, dive by. Um, yeah. Zone our new contact yeah. bearing one. Three, zero, designated Sierra, one. I don't know if I was heard coming in hot like this. That's a Riga. Con sonar, Sierra, one, is classified as escort. Let's get above that layer. Because that is a, it was a very strong layer. 79 decibel ambient water noise. We should be able to hear a few Con more things. Yeah. Zero, eight, one, designated Sierra, two. That's a... Con sonar, new contact Hotman? bearing. One, 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 designated Sierra, three. No, it's not a Kotlin. It's a Poti, perhaps? Yeah, I'll call it a poti. Sierra two is classified as escort. Sierra three should be our target. Yep. Con sonar. Sierra three is con. Dive at one five zero feet. Dive by. So let's move to the north. Come left to zero one four. Helm I. Wait, the Poti can... Er, yeah, the Poti can. Come right to one, zero, seven, helm, I. Neither of them can pick me up yet. The Riga is actually pretty close to doing it, though. What's my depth? 150. Come right to 1, 2, 1, helm, I. Well, now the poti is a little bit better for picking me up. Kazbek, though, we have Con not Helm. identified yet. Fourteen knots. Hell, I could go ahead and launch one of these right at it. I'm going to need to get under that layer very soon. Very, very soon. Con sonar new contact uh -oh. bearing zero. All nine, right. One designated Sierra four. Make depth two zero zero feet. Die by. Shit, I don't know what that is. Is that a merchant of some sort? Start with the submarines, of course. Are you a whale? I think you're a humpback. Con sonar, Sierra 4 is classified as biologic. Alright, so we're in the shadow zone Con of the very zero, zero good nine. thermal layer. Oh yeah. That Riga though.
Aye, sir. Shoot two one. Aye, sir. Oh shit. Gone. Fire control. Weapon acquired. Got him. Contact. Sierra. One. Last bearing. One. Three. Three. Contact breaking up. We'll just go ahead and have this thing. I heard an aircraft. That Riga was super duper close. Sonar boy, and I am heading right towards it. Two sonar boys. You know what? I'm gonna go for the poti. Yeah. Wow, you were close. Seems to be traveling in a direct beeline. Fortunately, the sonar boy is on the opposite side of the Riga from me. So that's going to mask my presence for a little bit. What are you doing, Poti? Kind of slowed down a bit, didn't you? Not detecting me anytime soon. Another sonar boy. Stop doing the dodge thing. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Stop doing the dodge thing. Alright. Head right in, buddy. Got him. Sierra two. Last bearing. Zero. Two. Eight. Contact breaking up. All right, so we've got a floor at four. Head down to 350 feet. And let's chase down a Kazbek. Come left to zero nine eight helm I. They keep dropping over here, which is a good thing for me. Maybe the humpback is also throwing off their search. And if this whale gets caught up in the engagement, then I am very sorry. OK, 
Can I do 20 knots at 350? Yes, yes I can. So I should be able to catch up in no time. And by no time, I mean lots of time. Con, dive at three, five, zero feet, dive by. At least this particular vessel can only do 14 knots. Maximum speed, 14 knots. Okay. Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. I'd love to try and get going faster, but with the sonar boys in place, I don't think so. I also kind of wish the water was noisier. It's very fortunate that they had frigates instead of destroyers uh, guarding this oiler. But it's also fortunate that I had this very strong thermal layer. Hopefully that helps. Fortunately, I can still hear the Kazbek. Con, sonar, torpedo Shit. in the water, torpedo in the water, bearing, three, three, five. Con sonar, we are cavitating. Yes, yes we are. Passing 300 feet. Con, torpedo room, tube 3 ready. Passing 200 feet. Oh, shit. Passing 100 feet. I start getting bombs dropped on me. Con, knuckle formed. Uh, what? Come on. I guess I should have kept turning to the right. One bomb hit me. Which, in itself, is kind of bullshit. You know what I mean? I mean, here I am, flank speed, ducking, dodging, diving, and weaving. They can't see me. All they have is magnetic anomaly detection and a sonar buoy. It's not like they could pinpoint where I was. And we didn't even get the Kazbek. Fortunately, we get to keep going. <laughs> I've read this so many times, you know what it says. Yeah, go with, go with the sturgeon. And this time it's the USS Hammerhead, SSN 663.
In an incident deemed highly embarrassing for the U.S. Navy, it has been revealed that Soviet warships could resupply at sea by tankers and other support craft near the Soviet coast. Well, gee whiz, who would have thought that they'd be able to resupply in their own fucking waters? Furious politicians demand an explanation. If we cannot intercept lumbering tankers, what chance do we have to catch fast warships? Thing is, I sunk their fast warships on their way to the tanker. Yes, I am salty. Replenishment tankers and tenders from Murmansk near the northern Norwegian coast. So, pretty much same bat time, same bat channel. 36 hours, though. That's probably an automatic fail. Yeah, there they are, right there. Yeah. That's... That's another one of those bullshit things. So... Shit. Military analysts have confirmed that Soviet submarines have torpedo and min missile replenishment capability while at sea. The enemy's ability to keep fully armed ships and submarines stationed throughout the war zone poses a significant threat to NATO shipping and overall control of the region. Next mission. Enemy task force is preparing to sail from Murmansk. Intelligence estimates that it will make a conservative patrol in the vicinity of the Norwegian Sea, perhaps approaching Narvik before striking out into the Atlantic. This... I can actually handle. I'm gonna chill out over here in Andoya while the West frees Sweden. War correspondence in Sweden sends spacing pictures of cheering crowds as the NATO offensive drives the invading Warsaw Pact forces out. Seems reminiscent of the Allied liberations of World War II brings hope for Europe as the war rages on in other areas. Alright, but I'm... I'm very done with the episode. I'm going to go ahead, save, quit, and end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to leave a comment. Feedback is always appreciated. Like the video if you enjoyed what you saw, and subscribe if you'd like to see some more. Once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.